Hi, it's Nell, and today I'm transplanting my ponytail palm, or which is all tied up, <laughs> out of the way, which also means I'm going to be transplanting my burrow's tail sedum. And a few of you have made comments about how hard it is to work with them because the leaves fall off, and that's very, very true. But I am going to um, be taking this out of the pot and then I'm going to put it back into the new pot, but I'm going to show you the trick that I um, use that helps to keep a lot of the leaves from falling off. So stay tuned for the transplanting of the burrow's tail palm. <laughs> burrow's tail sedum. <laughs> I, I have ponytail palm on the brain. <laughs> So I'm taking a flannel pillowcase and I'm going to put the plant in the pillowcase. Oops, I'm, al I'm already losing a couple of leaves. It just happens. And it doesn't have to be a flannel pillowcase. I just happen to have this. And I'm going to get it up and under the best I can. And then I'm going to Get them all in, get those tails all in the best I can. Pull it up a bit, gather it, and then I, oops, come, come on. There's a few stray tails I need to get in here. They've been flipping back, growing the other way. So I just want to get them all tied up in here and then I just tie this as tightly as I can. It doesn't have to look good, it just has to do the trick and then I do that and that just makes a nice little packet for the burrow's tail so it isn't quite as traumatic when they get transplanted. It's a little bit hard to get the burrow's tail out because the ponytail palm is so tightly rooted in here. But I've just gone around with the trowel and I have loosened it as best I can to try to get it out. I'm gonna take a little bit more off, off of the ponytail palm here. It's just, just, a, just, a, just a little bit hard to do because of where it is. But not impossible. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Okay, lift it out now. There we go. Oops, there's a big, big long root here I'm going to carefully get. Uh. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to dump it down into this pail down here. Oops. Whoa, watch out for the tails. Ugh. Okay. Uh, you, could, you couldn't see that, but I just lowered it down into a pail. And now I'm going to move this out of the way while I get going on the big boy, the ponytail palm. So I have the ponytail palm in its new pot. I am a dirty, filthy mess. It's also very warm. <laughs> and now it's time to get the burrow's tail back in the pot. Or in the new pot. So I'm going to carefully lift it out of the pail and see how much I need to put in there. Oops, I need to get some more soil in there, so I'm gonna gently some succulent mix. You can uh, watch the video of me transplanting this, and you'll get an idea of the mix I used and how I did it. But I just needed to get a little more in there because the root ball on this isn't that big. Okay. Carefully lift out the burrow's tails. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm just going to go around and fill in with the, and the mix right around here. And I'm gonna top the whole pot off with worm compost and compost. Okay, so I got the rest of the mix in and the worm compost. And now we're gonna have the unveiling. I don't, I don't know why I just put that glove on. <laughs> okay, let's see how. And I just kinda slide it off as gently as I can. There's a little hummingbird right over there. Oh, you know, it's over at the plumbago. Okay, whoa, it's caught up here. Whoa. Okay, there we go. And, and if you just have like a small burl's tail, then you can just use a dish towel. And there we go. That is it. They look all pretty much intact. I'm gonna dump out the leaves, so you, so, you know, you can see there are some leaves, or you probably can't, but I will show you. Um, but not that many. So that works, that works pretty darn well for burrow's tails. Let's see. So that's how many leaves I lost, which isn't too bad. And there we go. They'll be very happy with their new soil and I loosened up the root ball of the ponytail palm a bit so the burrow's tail will have a little more room to grow and expand. So I hope you found this video to be helpful about a quick little tip about how to transplant burrow's tail sedums without losing all the leaves. I will also leave a link to the um, transplanting of the ponytail palm down below just so you can see that also. I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate them. Now let's get out in the gardens, our gardens, any gardens, and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I have a lot more videos coming your way. I have lots of projects lined up, so stay tuned. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. Bye.